very, 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 very good. So I don't normally do this uh, when I talk about a product as, as the main subject of the show, but there is a new uh, a, a new uh, tester product that I was sent, uh, and the folks really wanted me to talk about it today because I guess their Indiegogo campaign is going on, uh, and they really want to get the word out. So I do want to do a little ha an additional hands-on review to show you guys this because it's very important to them. So this is called the Linear Flux Lithium Card. So this is, you know, as I've been talking talking about before, one of the reasons I like doing reviews, I like getting these products, is because you see all of these different versions of things that you think should basically be about the same. You know, you, you look at things like external battery packs and you go, wow, uh, you kind of figure that every external battery pack should be about the same, and then you realize, you find out in life that that is not the case. So this is, again, this is called the, the Linear Flux Lithium Card. So I guess this is an Indiegogo campaign right now, and basically what this is, is this is another, yet another, external battery pack for your smartphone. So you've seen a lot of these so far, and so you're probably wondering why I think this one is particularly cool. Well, what I think is really cool is look at this. I get prototypes now. But anyways, so what's really cool about this is, is a couple of pieces of functionality. Now the first one is that, again, one of the things that, that people don't think about is when they buy a product, they don't think about all the different specifications. They just think about like milliamp hours, you know? Is it 1,000 milliamp hours? Is it 12,000 milliamp hours? Is it 500 milliamp hours? That's all they think about. Well, with this thing, it's actually, it's a 1,200 milliamp hour uh, battery pack, so that will give you, I think it's like five hours of talk time on a cell phone. But what's important about it is is the amperage that it actually pushes out the power at. So this thing pushes out at two amps versus a lot of these different products push out at one amp. So why that's important is how fast you can get the power from this to your device. So a lot of, believe me, I get a lot of devices in the mail uh, and I've used them a lot because we've had power outages uh, during this winter. And one of the issues is your, is your phone dies, you plug in the battery pack and then it takes forever before you can turn your phone on because it's pushing out the power at one amp and it just takes a long time, right? So with this thing, it's able to push out the power at two amps, which makes it a lot faster. So with that, supposedly with their system, uh, this thing will actually also uh, power up or, or charge itself much faster when you plug it into a computer or adapter. One of the good things with this too is that there are no additional cables to it. So basically, this is all you get. So this is what you connect into your smartphone, what micro USB here, and then this is what you connect into your computer or into the adapter in order to charge this thing up. So you don't have to worry about any extra cables or any of that. This is uh, just what you have to deal with. Now one of the cool parts with this too, again, whenever you're looking at batteries, there's a surprising number of, of, of functions or features. And one of the things this allows you to do is actually, it's called pass-through charging, which some, uh, some and even some of the high quality uh, battery packs don't allow you to do. I think the Mophie I had uh, didn't allow you to do pass-through charging. What pass-through charging means is you can plug this into an adapter and charge your phone at the same time it passes through even some of the more expensive uh, battery packs out there they can either charge or discharge they can't pass through so that's one of the, the, the cool things with this now if you're interested in this little guy again like I say uh, oh oh they do they did give me this thing too and again it's like these weird little things they give you that that you think would be kind of dumb but are actually kind of cool they give you this little little uh, I don't know what the hell this is. It's just like a little piece of rubber. And again, you look at that and go, okay, Eli, why is that cool? And the reason is, is because it has a lot of friction to it. So like with your battery pack, if you want to put this onto your phone or something, like there's no stick to it. It's not sticky. It's, this isn't like a, a post-it note or something. It just has like this weird friction property. So, I mean, you can actually do like that. <laughs> I don't want it to drop. Okay, there you go. I can do that with it. And again, that's all from the weird ass little friction from the rubber on this stuff. So again, one of those random cool things. When you buy the, the battery pack, you get this weird little piece of rubber. That's really kind of cool. It's like one of those things that makes you feel like a kid again because you get to play with the, the little rubber thing. Now, if you're interested in this, basically um, all you have to go to do is go to linearflux.com 
Now, one of the warnings I will give you guys about what you know whenever you're you're kind of trying to sell a new product is make sure your website works properly. I do not know what the hell's been going on with linearflux.com today, but it has been an absolute mess. Like I go to linearflux.com and like sometimes it just gives me a white screen, and then sometimes it gives me this, and this isn't even the full. It's a post. See, see, now it does that, right? So I don't know. There has been something just just freaky as hell going on with their website today. So again, one of the warnings that I will give you: if you guys are going to be sending me these nice new pretty products make sure things like your website work because if I send people to your website and then it just gives me a white screen that doesn't really help anybody but basically you can go here and it's linearflux.com or you can simply go to their Indiegogo campaign uh, so it's Indiegogo projects lithium uh, hyphen the hyphen a lithium card hyphen the hyphen hypercharger and you can come here and you can actually see the project as you can see I mean there, there must be interest in this because you know where they're up to eighty two thousand dollars so their 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 goal was thirty thousand dollars on Indiegogo they've actually they're they're up to eighty two thousand dollars and they still have twenty four days left so they must be doing at least something right you can go down here you can take a look at all the the different stuff they have so again this this the the idea of, of that it's small and the, the whole hypercharging thing uh, which seems good. Seems 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 like it works well. You know, it tells you about the connections. It tells you all this other stuff. And if you keep going down, you know, it tells you all the specifications down here. Again, the, one of the big things to think about. It does have that 1,200 milliamp hour battery uh, pack, and then the whole idea of the the hypercharging, simultaneous charging, and all of that kind of stuff. Like I say, it seems like um, seems like a good thing to me. Uh, it works. It works well. It looks good. All of the stuff is connected. Um, the only the only downside I would say to this is I like having this cable here for the connector to my smartphone, but having this uh, USB connection locked where it is makes it a pain in the butt to connect it to my computer. So when I was testing this thing, uh, I, I connected it to my MacBook Pro, and the problem is like you can only plug it in one certain way. So with my MacBook Pro, I've got all kinds of weird ass cables coming off of it in order to do these shows. And so I had a problem actually finding a place I could shove this thing into. Um, so that is the only issue. Like, like I don't know if they listen to me. <laughs> I would I would say that this should be something like this, um, and then it would be much better because having this locked in is just this one little piece. It looks nice. It looks nice until you go into the real world. You try to plug this into a normal computer that has 20 different USB devices already connected into it, and you find out there's just not the real estate for you to connect it into. But really, that's about the only the only downside to it. It's it's nice. It's a nice little thing. And it's prototype. That is so cool. I love the fact that I'm now getting, I mean, the fact that, you know, like I say today, I, I'm showing you guys one that literally, one thing that literally says prototype and then the fluke device that literally went on the market yesterday and they sent, sent it out uh, beforehand. I just think is just absolutely, absolutely awesomely cool. I'm getting cool new things. Oh, anyways, so with that, let us go over and talk about